Hi, welcome back to Natural Alternatives 2. Today's episode, I am going to talk about autoimmune problems, autoimmune disorders. Um, I've never really shared this with any of you out there that um, I've had some health issues over the last past years. And um, this one particular health issue has caused a significant amount of hair loss for me, but this was years ago. Um, so I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, to hit home a little bit. Um, it's an autoimmune disorder, and it's a, a disorder that I was diagnosed with many years ago. And um, it is actually called hyperthyroidism. Um, some of you out there may have this problem. It's where the thyroid gland is very overactive and basically um, it can cause your heart rate to speed up. It, you know, the thyroid gland regulates all the metabolic processes in your body. So um, when your thyroid gland is overactive, you know, it's almost like that's a thermostat for your body and when it's overactive, you're gonna have a basically elevated heart rate. Sometimes your temperature can be elevated. Um, you experience hair loss. Um, when I was diagnosed with this many years back, I was actually uh, in a very stressful uh, career and this particular career did not make it any better. I did not know what was wrong with me. All I knew, my hair was falling out bad. My skin color changed. I lost a lot of weight. Um, I went from basically a brown toned skin color to extremely dark skin color. And this is not me just being out in the sun, you know, because I can get very dark if I'm out in the sun playing tennis or whatever. But this particular illness at the time I was unaware of. I was having a lot of skin problems, itchiness, was having some contact dermatitis, which means uh, just some irritation in certain areas of my body, mainly my lips. Um, so I was really like wondering what was going on. I thought maybe it was the job, which the job didn't help. It actually made things worse. Give me one. Yeah. So it basically made matters worse and I had to go to an endocrinologist basically. But first I went to my primary care doctor and she, uh, when I gave her all the symptoms that I was experiencing, she recommended me go to an endocrinologist. So when I did that, I basically was told that I have hyperthyroidism which this form of hyperthyroidism that she diagnosed me with is Graves' disease. Um, Graves' disease uh, can be very bad, you know, if it's not controlled. Many people sometimes will have the thyroid gland removed or they'll have radioactive iodine to go ahead and shrink the thyroid, just basically kill the cells of the thyroid. Well, I, I basically opt out of that situation. I got um, a second opinion from another endocrinologist and I basically was told the best thing is to really get rid of the thyroid gland. Well, growing up uh, holistic and eating natural and, and you know, my, um, my grandmother raised me and basically she she was pretty healthy for the most part. Um, she cooked very good food and, um, you know, she was into a lot of natural remedies. So I did not want to have to be on medication the rest of my life. Um, that was just something I did not want to do. So basically I went online and did some research and I found out that there is a protein in a grain wheat it's wheat it's actually gluten but it's in a it's in several grains like wheat barley rye and when i saw this uh 
information online, I realized, I'm like, you know, maybe I should stop eating gluten. At the time, I did not know what that was. And, you know, I was used to eating anything, everything that I wanted to eat. So when I decided to to go on a gluten-free diet, I had to research and learn more about it. This was years ago. I decided to do the gluten-free diet. Within a week or two, my symptoms started to improve, but I still did not know a lot about it. So I kind of went back to some of my old foods, like certain breads, pizza, whatever, symptoms came back. So, I realized that this was a problem. I went to an allergist. They told me I was allergic to a lot of things, even fish, some fish, some fish I couldn't eat, couldn't, you know. It was just a, a, a whirlwind of bad information for me. But I decided to do the gluten-free. And um, from that point, I got better. So today, um, well, you know what, with the exception, let me go back because not only did I stop eating gluten products, I uh, also researched a supplement called L-carnitin or acetylcarnitin. And this L-carnitin is a supplement, it's an amino acid, and it's supposed to help regulate the thyroid. You know, if the thyroid is too fast, it's supposed to kind of help balance it. So I started taking that supplement and um, no gluten, taking the L-carnitin, and I would say my hair actually started growing back. My skin got back to that nice caramel tone. Um, I was getting better, my mood, I wasn't anxious and irritated, and you know, I started getting better. But throughout the years, you know, eating out sometimes, I came across a lot of cross-contamination. So that's when I felt like, you know what, it's time to mostly cook my food at home. But back during years, 10 years ago, gluten products were awful tasting. They didn't taste good at all. You really had to make your own stuff. Today, now, a lot of gluten-free products are very delicious and I've made some really good dishes, you know, from my gluten, um, uh, sensitivities. I made some really nice dishes. I mean, I've had people over for dinner and they couldn't even tell that the food was gluten-free. And I actually do have some recipes, gluten-free recipes for some of you all out there. Um, I may have to do it in another video. There's this really southern, delicious southern dish with biscuits and oh, gravy. It's just so delicious. So I want to you know, do some things this year, 2018, just helping um, some people manage their, their ailments, their, their disorders. But for me, I do have an uh, autoimmune disorder and I have to be very, very careful what I ingest. I have to be very careful what I put on my skin. This is one of the reasons why I decided to go natural 100%, no chemicals. Um, I do have shampoo bars that I use, the Shea Bay, the um, caramel, um, carrot, car caramel carrot shampoo bar, the green tea shampoo bar, and a lot of people may think, well, that's just soap. Well, it's, it's definitely um, made uh, the way soap is made, but my shampoo bars have a little more super fat in it, which is extra oils in it to moisturize and lubricate the strands so the hair won't uh, feel dry, even though it does leave the hair squeaky clean. So I had to resort to that versus going, you know, getting all the chemicals and stuff. Even now, I am making my own deodorant. I do not use store-bought deodorant because I've been hearing a lot of things about cancer and it is so prone in my family. That's a totally another, another topic. Um, so everything I use is basically 100% natural um, from washing my body with the soaps or the shampoo bars, washing my hair, using homemade conditioner, pomade, oils, deodorant, you know, so these are things I just want to share and hit home with y'all. You know, it is very important to look into and do research 
a lot of the chemicals out there. It's so many people getting cancer and I would not be surprised if it's from all these chemicals that people are putting on their bodies. I mean, I'm at a point now I can't even, I don't even want to use lotion because even that has chemicals in it. So it's just something that you need to look into. So I want to say if you are uh, new to the channel, welcome and um, please subscribe for updates, not only about hair, but health. And this is a year I want to touch a lot about health. I know last year was just coming back on to YouTube. Um, I actually opened my channel. Um, I think it was 2014, 15, 16. I'm not even sure. But it was more uh, private videos. But last year I went on public with this hair care journey and um, I am looking for more subscribers because I know I need to get to a thousand subscriber threshold in order to be um, considered um, eligible for uh, monetization which means you get paid for putting your videos out. Um, I'm also uh, doing another channel which that's in the works right now. So I'm looking for, you know, subscribers, but, you know, if you guys want to follow my hair care journey, I have my hair in a protective styling right now. Um, it's going to be washed actually tomorrow. And I need, I'm going to do another video soon about my how to make uh, my homemade conditioner um, that I am selling. It's only going to be the cream that you'll see, but you're going to basically see how I mix um, and make it transform from a cream to an actual conditioner. So stay tuned. And like I said, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, if you're looking to follow me on my hair care journey, and if you're looking to improve your health, you know, this year I'm going to talk more about that. Just subscribe. You know, I love you all. And there's just so much more in life than feeling depressed, feeling down, having all these health problems. I just want to let you know that God loves you all, and I do too. So in the next video, we'll touch more bases about my autoimmune disorder. So until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you all. Peace. Take care.